CompTIA ITF plus Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 4.3, Explain the Purpose and Use of Programming Concepts. Objects. To start off this video about programming objects, imagine you have a car. A car is a complex system made up of various parts, each with its own unique functionality. But what if you had to remember the details of every part and how they all work together? It would be overwhelming, right? Well, that's where programming objects come in. Objects help us to organize and manage complexity by grouping related data and functions together. Just like a car has wheels, an engine, and seats, an object has its own characteristics and behaviors. So, what exactly is an object? Think of it as a self-contained unit that groups together data and actions. It's a way to represent real-world things or concepts in a digital format. For example, if you were developing a software system for an automotive dealership. In this context, we could create an object called, car. This car object would store details about a specific car model, including its year, make, model name, and color. Additionally, the car object would have methods that enable actions such as checking its availability, calculating loan payments, and scheduling delivery. Now, let's talk about object properties and attributes. These are often used interchangeably, but there's a slight difference. While both deal with the characteristics of an object, attributes are the intrinsic characteristics. They define the object's state and store information relevant to the object's identity. These data values collectively provide a snapshot of the object's current characteristics at any given time. As for properties, they provide a controlled way to interact with an object's attributes, thus acting as a bridge between the data elements of an object and the external code that uses that object. And finally, let's explore object methods. Think of methods as the actions an object can perform. They're like the functions that an object knows how to execute. Referring back to our car object from earlier in this video, this object might have multiple methods, like accelerate and brake or refuel. These methods allow us to interact with the object and perform actions related to it. Or for you old school video game lovers, if you were playing the Super Mario Bros. video game and wanted to make Mario run, jump, or duck, you would push a button on the video game controller. In turn, the video game's program would apply a method to the Mario object, causing the desired outcome. And with that, we have completed domain 4 of the CompTIA exam objectives. Next up we have database fundamentals. Ready, set, let's-a go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.